Hold on to your butts, Cancer. This is your pick a card reading. Welcome back to my channel, Down to Earth Tarot, Cancer. This is your love reading for those for you single and or attached cancers, whether that be something serious or light like a friends with benefits, this is the reading for you. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. I have the hoodoo tarot here, I have the African American tarot here, and the Brazilian tarot. So the little Gucci dress, the little Gucci dress, or the little Gucci dress. For those of you who are struggling to make a decision, I'm gonna read this deck first, second, and third. Um, what is the energy? Ooh, the six of sticks for the hoodoo tarot. So maybe this is somebody who's dealing with the Leo here or somebody who's all worried about getting the victory or dealing with somebody with ego or maybe some the spotlight is all on you right now, um, Cancer. Or maybe you feel like you just can't win in this new love situation. This may be the pile for you. With the African-American tale, the energy is the 10 of coins. Some of you may be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But with this 10 of coins, somebody's getting ready to close out a cycle into abundance here. Mm, okay. And for the Brazilian tarot, Cancers, let me stop throwing things. More earth sign energy here with the ace of coins. Cancers that are dealing with the earth sign person, let me know who you are down in the comment section. Take a, take a second to decide which pile you would like and we're going to get right started. If you, did not, if you did not choose a deck that is going to be read first, check the description box for the timestamp so you can find your reading immediately. And we are going to go ahead and get started on that note. So for pile number one, let's get started. For those of you who have the six of sticks energy walking forth, in some type of victory in love. What's at the bottom of the deck? Let's get right to the bottom of things. Yep. I'll do these four. Cancers. Okay, Cancers. The bottom of the deck is the mother of knives air sign energy here. So you had to set up some boundaries, Cancers, to get this victory. Maybe you had to set some boundaries so that there, there was... Um, clear communication about what was needed to get this victory in love. Okay, Cancers. Okay, Cancers, you had to lay down the law. And Cancers, you have with the nine of knives, more air sign energy here. There were some communi the, some major communication issues that you had to work through to get this victory in love. You definitely had to tell this person how you felt here um, and let go of... And underneath that is the Gullah Jack, Major Arcana. You had to let go of some major communication issues or boundaries here. I feel like somebody didn't want to talk about maybe their past here or didn't want to talk about some serious issues here, but you had to come to terms with that. And whatever those issues were that they were not speaking about um, were driving you crazy with this Nine of Knives, giving you a bunch of anxiety. You weren't able to sleep at night wondering about these things. Next, you have the six of coins. Two sixes here for you, Cancers. This is the card. This is Libra energy, even though it is an earth sign card. This is all about taking a gamble and a risk. And what I get here is with this anxiety and this lack of communication here, I feel like you really had to let somebody know, Cancer, um, what your boundaries were. And you rolled the dice. You weren't sure whether or not this person was going to take this the right way or the wrong way. But with this seven... Um, with this dice landing on lucky number seven, the number of the divine, either way it went, it was going to work out in your favor. I feel like, Cancer, this was a situation where you had to teach this person how to treat you with this six of sticks. And because you did that, you opened up your mouth, set the parameters, you're getting the victory with this person because they wanted to make it work with you. And with this six of knives, three sixes, six, 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 that's a message for somebody. Google that. Find out what that means. Um, number means for you. This was you blocking communication with this person. And with that nine of knives, those knives are in the downward position and so are the knives in this card as well. Knives in the downward position to me signify um, blocked communication. Maybe you block this person's phone calls or not speaking. And what I'm getting here, Cancer, is they weren't talking to you about something. Let me know what that thing isn't down in the comment section. And so you just completely shut down. Maybe even walked away, blocked their phone calls because until they came correct, you didn't have anything to say to them. And with this ace of knives, more air sign energy here, issues with communication and information here. Okay, you were done with the lies. You were done with the lack of communication and you completely shut them down. I feel like you blocked them, Cancer. For some of you, you just blocked them, walked away and continued on with your life, letting them know that if they don't open up themselves to you and aren't as equally vulnerable in this situation, you're just going to move on to somebody who does want to be equally as vulnerable with, 
with you, okay? Underneath this nine of knives is the daughter of baskets. This is your energy here, Cancer, or another water sign, um, Pisces, Scorpio. This is somebody coming back to offer you their cup of love. This is a this to me is a past person. So let me know for some of you cancers if this is somebody that you've um, been in a relationship with for some time. Maybe you've gone several rounds with this person, but this person is coming back. See all this water in the background? You, you went to calmer waters and they came searching for you. Here they are right behind you offering you this big cup. This big basket of love, this apology here. They want to know what's going on with this teapot. They're coming to give you the tea and the information you were asking for. Okay, Cancers? This person does not want to lose out on you. And underneath the six of coins, the nine of sticks. Fire sign energy here, Aries, Leo, Sag. This is you protecting yourself. So with the six of sticks and getting this victory, you had to let this person know with that mother of knives energy, setting those boundaries and those parameters, that you are not going to take this game holding you hostage with things that you don't know. You didn't want to have to shoot nobody to get some information. You don't want to have to hold anybody by gunpoint to get some questions answered with this nine of knives energy. They're going to have to come correct. And again, because you took this risk, it ended up working out for you. So what, you don't have to continue to keep these walls up. These, this person's going to break down these walls and give you this information. Underneath the six of knives is the son of baskets, okay? You walked away because this person wasn't giving you some information, and here they are with this apology. But with this being in reverse, cancer, this makes me feel like this person came with a weak apology to start, and then they had to come correct with that um, daughter of baskets energy so they came with a weak apology immediately after you left and you weren't hearing that because you knew it was immature it was too soon they didn't really have anything to offer you this was an empty offer of love a basket in the downward position or upside down is empty a cup upside down can't hold water Mm -hmm. an empty apology and underneath this ace of knives in reverse you left because you were done with the lies because you have other options cancer they were fooling around with you you knew that six 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 and now the seven, seven being the number of the divine. Okay, you took that risk and it landed on number seven because you know, they know that you have other options here that you could roll the dice and any one of those people, other people in the background here that want to swoop you up waiting for this person to make a mistake here. They're not going to have no problems pouring into you the way that you're pouring into this person. So cancers, you had to work through that. But for some of you, you guys just had to work through these um, communication issues because while you have many options, Cancer, and this person also may have other options or they're trying to lead you on, make you afraid of that. All they want is you. All they want is you. They want to let go of the things that are no longer serving them with this gullet jack, letting go of those um, past negative cycles of lacking communication or sending you mixed signals because you're protecting your energy right now with the seven of sticks. Two sevens now, seven being the number of the divine, and we have it showing up in that six of coins. This just speaking to either way you go, Cancer, it is going to work out in your favor. You are protecting your energy, and that's why you set these boundaries and these parameters, that you are going to force somebody to love you the right way if you're going to accept them. And Cancers for group A or the Hoodoo Tarot, this is the end of your reading. Let me know if that resonated for you down in the comment section, and we are going to move right on along to group two. And group two... That is our African-American tarot crew. Thank you so much. Mm -mm -mm. Cancer groupie. What's going on with you? Because we know that you're closing out a cycle into abundance or maybe with an earth sign person. Let me know who your person is, group two, because I am curious as a Capricorn person. Cancers, the energy at the bottom of the deck for this week is the Fool card. So you are closing out a cycle into abundance and starting a brand new journey, whether you wanted to or not with this being in reverse. But with, I'm getting Cancer. This gives me Snapchat filter vibes with this, um, with these flower, with this flower headdress here. So are you getting closing out this cycle, maybe leaving somebody behind who had you in a third party situation to get on Tinder, to get on Snapchat and get your whole life here, honey? You're looking over your shoulder like, you fool, what were you thinking when you tried to play me? And they tried to play you cancer with this player card and the Knight of Wands. This is Aries Leo Sag energy here. This is the serpent in the Garden of Eden and this demon coming out, girl. They put it down, had you all tied up, and now they just had you in some, they, this person had you in a third party situation, Cancer, and you're ready to exit stage left on that ass, Cancer, Cancer, Cancers in group B, here you are ready to keep it 
moving. But with this being in reverse, this chariot energy, major arcana, your energy in this reading, this is you feeling stuck here. And with this ten of co with this ten of coins, excuse me for um, stumbling over my words there. This gives me the ghost of Christmas past. This makes me feel like cancer. This is stagnant energy because you're still looking back at the past. You still have feelings for this person. You really invested emotionally in this situation, in this connection. Maybe you have a child with this person. Maybe you have a family and that's what you're leaving behind. Reminiscing about the good times that you had with each other when you shared the same home. But what I'm getting is this person tried to play you like a fool with this player fool card energy and now you're ready to just move on. You know that there's nothing left here. It is time for you to move on. But why are you trying to stay, Cancer? Why are you trying to stay? Some of you are in this committed relationship here with this Taurus Hierophant energy here, Major Arcana, okay? So there's a commitment and it, it, some of you are married to this person or maybe somebody had you in a third party situation where they were married here while they were trying to offer you some type of commitment here. Okay, maybe you thought that they were sent down from the heavens, this person, and that's why you invested so much, committed to this person um, so quickly or um, with such confidence that it was going to work out with this Hierophant energy. And now you're just kind of stuck in this and whether or not you want to move forward with this connection or move forward with this um, commitment or leave it behind. And with this King of Swords, Cancers, this is air sign energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is you sitting on some information, hoping that somebody would come and give you the truth. But I feel like they don't. I feel like this person is not giving you the truth that you want. And you're sitting on this information, this truth, because you were hoping or you are hoping still for some of you that this is taking place in the current time. Um, that they would give you this truth, but I feel like they're not. They're not. And I feel like you keep waiting. You're getting gray hairs waiting on this person to come and give you this truth or give you this opportunity with them. And they're just not giving it. And with this eight of coins, more earth sign energy here, this is the card of building. But with this being in reverse, this is somebody making plans behind somebody's back here. This is somebody being mischievous here, doing something um, underhanded underhanded. So what this makes me think, Cancer, is for some of you, you were deeply committed to somebody, emotionally, maybe even financially tied up, could have had a family with this person. And now you're stuck trying to make a major decision about this relationship here with this chariot and reverse hair font energy. You're sitting on some information, some major information, maybe about this king, this other person that you're in a relationship with. Okay. Because they were doing some planning behind your back here, or somebody was doing some planning behind your back that you were not privy to. Okay. Underneath your energy here is the nine of cups, more of your energy with this. This, cup, this card being in reverse speaks to somebody who was never satisfied here. So is it the case, Cancer, that you were pouring your whole heart into somebody who was never satisfied here? Now they put you and had you in a third party situation, making you second guess your worth, what you could have done differently to win them over. There was nothing. This person is empty. More of these, this snake energy, this snake, this serpent energy here. This is temptation. This is somebody who just, their intentions were not good. They wanted you to pour into them. Look at you. You are completely vulnerable here, pouring all into them. There's nothing left for you to give. This person is, while you're continuing to pour into them, this is dry land. This soil cannot be fertilized here. This un this person was just ungrateful. This is, gives me like narcissistic energy here. This person putting you in third party situations, playing with your emotions, even though they know that you invested in them in this situation. What's underneath this hair font with the four of swords? Okay, more air sign energy here. Communication and the truth is an issue here. This, you were dealing with somebody who was, as far as I can tell, a liar. Somebody who likes to play games. They like to play a lot of games based on you, based on implication. You, them betting on you assuming certain things. And you're tired of that. While you're sitting on this information, hoping that this person would bring you the truth, you're starting to realize that this person is very selfish, that it doesn't matter what you do. Okay, these stairs lead to nowhere. These stairs are endless. You're completely, you're totally trying to climb these stairs that have no end with this four of knives. And now you're ready to walk and exit stage left, okay? Leaving this person behind, ready to go. Underneath this king of swords is the 10 of wands, okay? Knowing that we're closing out a cycle here, the 10 of coins, moving on, leaving this investment to um, 
bigger and better here because somebody else is going to come and love up on you the right way cancer and with this ten of wands fire sign energy here this person is trying to th this gives me this person was breadcrumbing you not only was this person breadcrumbing you but they're trying to close this out leaving you with no closure so that you come back this person wants you to come back with this owl energy they want you to know who they want you to be questioning who is it that they chose they want you to be looking over their social media maybe they're purposely doing things to show you that they've moved on here this person is all about the games here and breadcrumbing and keeping people hanging on to nothing cancer you need to run i don't often say that but you need to run from this person this is highly 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 manipulative energy here and okay control 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 this person is very controlling you could have been dealing with an aries here more fire sign energy the divine masculine you may have been married to this person this could have been the father of your child here this is a serious commitment this is not for somebody who is in a um friends with benefits situation unless this has turned into like a pregnancy situation something serious but this person is totally wanting to control you by these third party situations here by their boldness with this lion and they know that you're not going to forget these things they want to have you in a constant state of fear or confusion or second guessing yourself because they know that these things that they're showing you that they're doing to triangulate you and keep you in the situation are damaging an elephant never forgets. This person is purposely trying to hurt you. And that's why you're closing out this cycle to bigger and better here. And that's what the universe is trying to tell you. You need to reinvest somewhere else here. Look at all these pentacles you've invested. Seven here, three down here. This person, don't give a damn, Cancer. It's time for you to move on. And you're going to, whether you like it or not. With this fool card, this person was acting like a fool. And now it's time for you to exit, okay? Cancers, for a group B, let me know how that resonated for you down in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. Find my information to book me for a personal reading in the description box. And we're going to move on to group three. Group three in the Brazilian tarot. Your time has come. And with this ace of coins energy, it makes me feel like there's new opportunities coming your way. New opportunities for stability and commitment. Possibly, we will find out. Mm -hmm. lots of earth sign energy so investing in situ emotional situations here maybe even moving in together putting your finances together maybe this person is paying your bills cancer bottom of the deck energy with the two of coins okay cancers so some of you cancers have a commitment offers from multiple people here you don't know which way to go or maybe you don't want to choose because why not make it rain all over you during this Gemini season, Cancers? You have options to choose from with this commitment that's being offered to you. All these people are chasing to get you. And with this Ace of Wands, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy here, this is a brand new passionate opportunity here. And with this bow, this is somebody brand new here, okay? This person wants to get it on with you and they want to lock you down. They want to be committed to only you and you only committed to them. Cancers, they see you as sexy, mama. And with this 16 Scorpio energy, this is the tower here. This is a revelation. So this could be fire sign or this very passionate person here that's also very emotionally wrapped up in you. They're going to bring you lots of gifts is what I'm getting. Here's a bow here on this card with this tree and then underneath this tree as well is another bow here. This person is going to love to shower you with gifts. That's how this person is going to show you through things you can see, touch, and feel. Earth sign energy here could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, how they feel about you. They're going to show you through their actions. And with this Leo energy here, okay, or maybe this is the justice card in this deck. It doesn't matter. Libra or Leo energy, sexy. Somebody sees you as beautiful. Somebody sees you as somebody that they want to make a major decision about as far as this commitment, okay? They see you as sexy and attractive. They, this person also is very confident that's coming towards you to offer you this brand new passionate opportunity in love, this ace of coins moment, this new commitment. Mm -hmm. You're sexy, they're sexy, you guys look good together. This is giving me power couple vibes. And with this magician card, more major arcana here, this is the card speaking to you having all the tools necessary to be successful in the situation. But Cancer, this also speaks to this person 
having all the tools necessary to make you happy in the situation. Cancer, this is the total package here. With this Leo Libra energy, with this eight major arcana, this is this makes me feel like this is the justice card. This person wants to run off and get married to you. They see you as the total package. So while they're trying to wrap you up and put a bow all over you because you're the prize, Cancer, you have a decision to make. You have a decision to make here. What's underneath this Ace of Wands? Baby, the 18, the moon, Pisces energy here, Cancer. This person is manifesting this opportunity with you. And with this eclipse that we just had during this Gemini season, this is a season for brand new love opportunities. This is love overflowing. This is somebody you don't know with this Pisces energy. This is a brand new person coming to present themselves to you, letting you know that they see you, they fully, they see you, okay, Cancer? And they wanna put it on you. They wanna lock you down with this Ace of Coins opportunity. And with this Three of Wands, you have choices to make. This, there's more than one person that wants to offer you this commitment. With this energy at the bottom of the deck and these, and these three trees here, and we knowing that two of these people want to offer you a commitment, two of these people want to offer you a commitment, cancer, cancer. You got many options to choose from, and this person is fiery and passionate. They want to love up on you, cancer. This could be the one with this ace of um, coins energy. This could be the one. You may have two people that are equally matched to you. Which one are you going to choose? Damn. Is it a Libra or a Leo or a water sign person? Is it a choice between fire and water? Damn. L girl, let me know. Underneath this Libra energy is... Okay, the page of wands, more fire sign energy here. This is a new person. This is a new person coming to send, coming to bring you in this new love opportunity here. And I feel like this person is very shy, Cancer. This person may be somebody outside of your comfort zone, not your usual type here. I feel like they're going to be very careful in how they approach you. Maybe even sending you flowers. Maybe that's the gifts. Maybe that's how they, um, maybe that's this revelation. These people send you flowers to your job. Mm. <laughs> this person is about to court you the right way. There are two people coming your way to offer you a commitment um, cancer. You may have many options to choose from with this three of wands energy here. You're definitely out looking. You're out here dipping and doing it with that Wendy Williams, okay? You are out here mingling. And with this magician card and the six of cups, the six of water, this is the proposal card cancer. This person is coming to lock you down. You have two people that are coming your way. Two really great options. I feel like an option between either fire and air or water. Okay, somebody very passionate that's going to match your energy here. High energy while they're offering you this commitment. Okay. This person is going to wants you to be exclusive with them very quickly. This person is going to come in. They want to pay your bills. They want to give you gifts. They want to go on trips with you. Cancer, this person, and with this five of wands in reverse, this is chaos and confusion here. But with this being in reverse, this is very direct. This gives me, with this earth energy here, that this person is direct, this person is not coming here to mess things up. And I feel like you might be nervous about that, that the chaos and confusion, that you have two great options here. Cancer, you're going to play your cards right because you're not going to mess this up because you know, you know that these two people, that you have a once in a lifetime opportunity here, that you have two people that are equally matching you with this four of cups. Okay. You don't want, you're worried about a missed opportunity here and this confusion. Mm -mm. Either way you choose to go, either way you choose to go, Cancer, it's going to work out for you because both of these people, I believe that maybe they're even fighting for you. They're manifesting these opportunities with you. They're trying to give you gifts. They are going out of their way to show you and set this foundation with this four of cups in love and emotion that they want to build with you. They want to build with you. They want to build with you. They want a seat at your table, okay? They are just waiting for you to arrive. See this person here in the background peeking in? You know that you have two equally yoked options that are wanting to offer you this commitment. Cancer, cancer, cancer. You've been hurt here in the past with this three of wands energy or this three of swords energy I can see here at the corner. I'm gonna pull. But both of these options, you could take. Now, the Eight of Cups usually is about a situation where somebody um, is walking away from something emotional and you are going to have to walk away from one person. But no, that really, you have two good options. Either way it goes, it's not going to matter. Somebody is, you're worried about a heartbreak and hurting somebody's feelings and there's nothing you can do about that at this point, Cancer. Two people have fallen in love with you. I feel like for one person, it may have been love at first sight here and taken off very quickly. Where some, one person, they've in, 
vested in you emotionally and it's grown over time. Somebody will be hurt, but that's not your problem, girl. They're coming to commit to you. This is your opportunity. You've cleared out some negative energy. I've been paying attention to your cancer reads here. And now this passionate person is coming your way. Two passionate people. The universe has directed two great options to you, cancer. What are you about to do? With this queen of swords energy, you are ready to make a decision here and cut someone out here. It's very hard for you to do. You're trying to dance around this issue. See this bow, all these bows. This person is trying to wrap and tie you up, cancer. Which way are you going to choose? We're going to end it right there. How are you going to choose, cancer? You are the queen of swords right now. Are you going to cut this person out or that person out? Let me know what your decision is down in the comment section. Let me know who your person is. Let me know what your reading was, what resonated for you. Find me on Instagram. Book me for a personal reading. I have some specials going this week, this week, excuse me, in Cancer's Queen of Swords in this moment. Keep it real. Be good to yourself. Let me know who this person is.